Right, so we've talked a little bit about gradient descent, uh, and in this video I'm going to give a few examples uh, of how it actually works uh, in practice. So remember the steepest descent algorithm uh, looks like uh, this idea. The big idea is that you um, choose a descent direction that sits in the direction of the negative gradient uh, of your function. So if you're sitting on a level curve of the function uh, over here, so you know, have a tangent uh, plane to the, to the function that, that goes, lies along this line here, you calculate the negative gradient of the function, which sends you downhill, uh, and then that's the direction in which you ha head. And then you take the best step that you can in that direction, so you calculate, you find lambda using a direct search, one dimensional search, uh, to minimize uh, uh, the function along that line there. So step to somewhere here, and then you turn around and you keep heading downhill. And that's how it works. So this actually converges. Uh, we can actually be guaranteed that this converges to a stationary point uh, of, the, of the function. Uh, so there's a theorem by Minou uh, that guarantees that. Uh, I am very happy uh, to uh, leave the proof here as not given, because uh, it's pretty involved to prove this. Um, but you should know that we can guarantee that this does actually converge um, to a stationary point which is fantastic. And actually, if, if, if f is convex, we've spent a long time talking about convex functions because they're important. They're important because stationary points of convex functions are minimizers uh, of the function as well. So that's a good, um, that's a good theorem to have um, in our back pocket, but we won't prove it. Instead, uh, here's an example of how it works in practice. So here's a uh, messy function. Uh, so notice that this is a, is a quartic function, so it's not quadratic and it's not even convex. You, know, you can imagine uh, putting lines here that are in sort of the basin, these two different basins here uh, that would not uh, lie above this surface. But it's not even convex, uh, it's a non-convex function, uh, but steep and descent actually works pretty well here. Um, now you should do this, you should do the calculations here yourself. Uh, you can start off, uh, do one or two by hand and then put them into a computer. Um, I won't do that. Um, I'll just look at what happens if we start at, say, 1, 1, so a point that's somewhere up uh, up here uh, on the surface. You know, on the right-hand plane, half of the plane here, I think this function is actually convex. Uh, and this actually does converge down to that blue minimum there, which is at around about uh, 1, 0, uh, as you can see. So it's 1 unit in the x dire x1 direction uh, and 0 in the x2 direction. So it converges in towards that, uh, that point there. And it does it pretty quickly. So steepest descent, even though it's a pretty simplistic algorithm, it actually works pretty well um, a lot of the time. Um, there are cases, though, uh, where it doesn't work quite so quickly. So here's a quadratic function, um, and we'll see later that uh, uh, you can be guaranteed that this is going to converge uh, to the um, to the stage to the global minimum here, but it actually does it pretty slowly. And so you know the point here is that this is very shallow in the x1 direction and steep in the x2 direction. So uh, if you start somewhere here, you um, you quickly converge uh, to the you know to the correct line through the middle here. So you quickly go down the steep part uh, of the surface, but then you actually go uh, you actually go very slowly. Uh, towards uh, towards the minimum. The minimum, of course, is at zero zero. Um, of that, you can see. So, what it actually looks like uh, is something like this. Again, this is one uh, that is quite nice to do by hand. Uh, so, you should do this. Uh, you should do this one by hand. Um, a few steps, uh, and the the solution. Uh, these iterates come out to be quite nice. Um, uh, quite nice expressions here, so do it by hand. Uh, and what the picture you'll get uh, looks like uh, is something like this. So you take a step down, you know, that's a, a level curve uh, out here, makes you take a step in this direction. So you take a step to some point, uh, and then you look along, you know, you're on another level curve, uh, this second concentric circle uh, of the function here, and so you step across, back in the upper direction, you keep stepping up and down. Um, it's interesting, this is a nice picture to show that you actually take steps in orthogonal directions. So you're never actually, uh, you're actually always taking uh, steps. So you're always turning at 90 degrees to yourself every time you step along, uh, step down the, the surface here. And you can see that you're actually going pretty inefficiently. Uh, you're never really heading directly towards where the minimum is at the origin there. Um, so you're taking quite, 
quite slow steps, and that's because of the elongated uh, shape of this. So the shape of the function uh, really matters here. Uh, now, this, so this is a quadratic function, uh, of course, because uh, uh, it's only got quadratic terms uh, in it, in x1 and x2, uh, and it turns out we can actually prove quite a lot uh, about uh, steepest descent uh, on quadratic functions, uh, and that's what we're going to do in the next video.